today I'm off to interview Gary Lineker and I'm super excited. I have made Gary some pies. Ta-da! And I've made him two different flavours of pies. But without further ado, off I go to Gary Lineker's house. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Hello everyone, so today I'm here with Gary Lineker. So, should we get started? Let's get cracking. So what were you like as a teenager? I was obsessed with sport, as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, so all my time was taken up either, either playing sport after school or kicking a ball around in the garden with my brother. I don't think I was too troublesome. I think I was uh, the easiest of the two brothers. That's good. What would you say the best thing and the worst thing was for you being my age, so 13? The best thing was always definitely playing sport. And the worst thing was homework. Uh. I never liked homework. I still don't like homework. I don't agree with homework. I think homework should be banned. I think they spend enough time at school as it is, and all it does is create stress between Thank child you. and parent. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get rid of homework. So I read that one of your teachers wrote on your report card that you concentrate too much on football mm. and would never make a living from it. Have you seen him since, or if not, what would you tell him if you did see him? I don't think I'd have to say anything, would I? No. I might just go, no. hey. It's me. It's me. <laughs> We've done all right in football. I've found a living. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It's nice oh. to prove people wrong occasionally. So, for those who are hoping to become a footballer in the future, what top tips would you give them? I think the most important thing is practice as much as you can. Um, enjoy it. Yeah. Do your skills. Practice your tricks. Um, ignore parents because yeah. they talk rubbish most of the time <laughs> on the touchline, yeah, shouting yeah. all sorts of nonsense. Um, and just enjoy the game. That's the most important thing. Go out there and enjoy it. And ultimately, if you work hard enough, you'll find your level. Yeah. And football can be, be just as enjoyable whether you play amateur or professional. Obviously, a lot of kids want to get right to the top. Mm. It's very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, but give it your best shot, enjoy it, and see where you go. Oh, that's really good advice. So, you presented match of the day in only your pants mm. when Leicester won the lead. What would you do if England won the World Cup? How would you top it? You're trying to get me in the spot here, aren't you? How would you top it? I, I, I don't think I could top that. Maybe I'd do it in a mankini or something. <laughs> <laughs> Shush, don't leave me down that road. Although if they did win the World Cup, I wouldn't mind, because it'd be amazing. Watch how they win, and then you have to stick to your word. I know. Guys, if that ever happens, you're going to have to mention it to Gary via social media. Uh-oh. I think I'm safe. <laughs> 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 What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you on the football pitch? Well, in the 1990 World Cup, I had a bit of an accident. I'd had a bad tummy. Oh, no. Yes, and millions and millions of people watching around the world. And I hadn't been very well, and then the ball went down the side, and I tried to do a tackle, and I relaxed a bit, and it happened. Uh -oh. And it's now become quite a thing. You Google me, I think it's about the most... Typing Gary Lineker's yes, first picture that's the first that thing that comes up. <laughs> Gary Lineker poos on the pitch. Oh, dear. Um, and that was dreadful. Uh, it was a horrible oh experience, no. but um, it's quite funny in a way. But yeah. it wasn't you at can the look time. Back at it, now. it was <laughs> horrendous at the time. Oh, no. Yeah. My family favourite and our family favourite in our household is Harry Kane. Yes. So, how do you think he's going to do in Russia? And are there any other footballers that you think will shine in the World Cup? England players. Yeah. Um, well, I, we're, we're all hoping Harry shines. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's a great striker. Um, he's been consistent three years now, three, four years, right at the top. And if England is to be successful, we need Harry Kane to perform. Um, yeah. So a lot of pressure on him, but I think he likes the pressure. So I'm confident he'll do well. I think we've got some great forwards. Um, they're all in form. Um, you know, we've got Sterling, who's been brilliant for Manchester City all season. Um, Marcus Rashford's very young, but he's, he's improving all the time. We've got Deli Alley behind Harry Kane. So I think we're going to be reliant on our forwards, because yeah. in other areas of the pitch, we're perhaps not quite as strong. Mm. Um, but you never know. We've got a very Anything young team, and if it doesn't happen in this World Cup, I think looking four years ahead, we're going to be seriously good. We've got some great well, let's kids Let's hope it does happen, because then let's we, hope you know, so. it's going to be exciting. we're going to have to present match of the day. In a mankini. <laughs> say that? Yeah. So, when you scored mm. at the World Cup, how did that feel? Well, thankfully, I scored a few. But it's the best feeling. It's, it's really difficult to describe, but it's like 
it's like a massive explosion of different emotions. Mainly joy, a lot of relief, and it, it was just in, like, wow, wow, and it's happened to me. Because I think we all know when we support a team and, and our team scores a great goal and we all go mad. Yeah. But when it's you that scored it, it's like that tenfold. And the, do you know what? In life, after it, there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. Um, and it's the one thing, that unbelievable feeling of scoring a really important goal, there's nothing like it. It's irreplaceable. Oh my God, it's that's It's kind of amazing. sad in a way, though, isn't it? That I'll never live that again. Yeah. But Unless England win memories. the World Cup, and then I'll be jumping for joy yep. until I realise... You have to wear the mankini. <laughs> yes. Pink one, hot pink. <laughs> I never said that. I know. OK. Mm. So what things make you laugh? Twitter makes me laugh. Oh, I'll, some I'll... of the things on there are so funny. Oh, yeah, so funny <laughs> and so strange. Yeah. There's a lot of strange people around. And memes as well, like just mm. a normal memes. picture. That, was it memes? Is yeah, that how you say it? See, I don't even know how you say these <laughs> there things. There you go. Old. You've learned the actual way to say it now. Memes. <laughs> See, I've already said memes. Ready? Yeah, ready when you are. Leicester or Tottenham? I uh, love both, but Leicester. Gascoigne or Giggs? Gascoigne. Football or soccer? Football. <laughs> Beach or pool? Mm, pool. Mm, I agree with that. Trainers or shoes? Trainers. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Mm. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Tapas or sushi? Tapas. Burger or hot dog? Burger. Maradona or Pele? <sighs> Maradona. Socks or pants? Socks or pants? But she's one. Socks. <laughs> Little Mix or the Spice Girls? Spice Girls. Fries or wedges? Fries. Well, wedges, they're good for doors. <laughs> Say hello, Snoop. Hello. <laughs> 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 Smelling the pies. So, we have two different pies. Mm. So, they're both similar flavours, so they're Indian inspired pies. I love Indian. One of them is chicken, potato, and peas with Indian spices. And then the other one is just like vegetables, sweet potato, butternut squash, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. And I believe one of the shirts, one of your old football shirts, had a number 10 on the back. Oh, yes, quite a few of them. Yeah. So, yeah. I did a number 10 on the pies. So you did? Yeah. Look at that. Number ten. Genius. I fancied the chicken one now. So that's the chicken uh, for one. Now. Thank you. Okay. Nan's chutney. We've got to have yeah. Nan's chutney, haven't we, Snoop? <laughs> I love pie. Mm. How is it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Excellent. Sounds good. Look, he's just <laughs> staring at the pie. <laughs> it's a triumph. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. So that's it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to stay tuned for more and give this a thumbs up. Gary, thank thumbs you up. so much for letting me interview Absolute you. Absolute pleasure, and thank you so much for the pies. Totally fine. They're I'm great. so glad you like them. So make sure to stay tuned for more, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.